Okay, in this video, I'm going to start up our AE project, and I want to talk about how to set up your project. Uh, before you start your project, you have to go to Customize, Preference, and Files. Make sure you've turned on Convert Local File Path to Relative. And then you have to do the unit setup, which is uh, different when compared with the uh, previous project we are doing. Uh, because if you are doing an interior design, you um, for default, our uh, Fidius Lumens is using generic unit, but you have to change it to millimeters because um, in the interior design industry in Hong Kong, um, uh, most likely they will use millimeter um, as their floor plans design. And also you can uh, you, you have to turn on this uh, system unit setup and then change it to millimeter if it didn't. Okay, change these two values to millimeter and choose metric. Okay. After that, you uh, can go to file project. Uh, we do not have any existing project, so this time we won't choose a set active project. I will choose create default. And then I start a folder, I select a folder, um, create a folder. Uh, maybe I give it a name called EA. Okay, go inside, click select folder. Okay, after that, you can you use your window and then go to that path to have a look. Um, I've already set up the project folder called E8 right here. I double click go inside, you will find that uh, FD system maps help us create all those uh, folders and you no need to rename them. Um, since folder is the folder that we are going to store our mass file, uh, please go to Moodle. Um, and download, download the file you I want, and I go to here maybe. Okay, go to Moodle, look for a file which is a DWG file. You can go to download uh, Moodle and download this file, which is an AutoCAD file, uh, with a complete interior design. Uh, I move my file to here. Um, you can find this file from Moodle. Okay, please start with from Moodle and then store it right here. And then I go back to our Fidis Lumax. I can go to file, choose import. There's, uh, there's different kinds of import you can use. Actually, if you have an AutoCAD file, you can use a link. But remember that if you use a link, you can't edit the content of your file. You can just put it in your scene as a reference. Um, in this case, I want to use import or merge. It's also okay. We, um, we are using merge last time, so I choose import this time. And then select my DWG file. Uh, use the default setting. Okay, you will put the cat file into your mass file. And this time I want to introduce uh, the layer explorer in our FDS Nomads. Oh, you can click this button. Uh, sometimes, uh, maybe in some of the user interface, you will find that uh, they will put your uh, layer explorer uh, at the bottom of your modifier or, 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 or this panel at the bottom part. Um, I think it's too small for me to, to, to edit the content, so I want to expand this uh, window. So I drag it out and then expand the window a bit. Um, you will see that in the AutoCAD file, uh, which is the same as Photoshop in its data, you can use a layer to um, organize the content of your file. Um, in this case, you will find that um, the designer use different kinds of layer to group or to manage the content of um, the interior design. Uh, this is the paper. I think maybe it's an A4 or A3 size paper, the working area. Um, I don't need it. So you can choose this object and then press keyboard if delete. Okay. I will find that I I've, I've, I I undo I control is undo uh, undo the action first. Uh, as while well, I select this re rectangle, okay, this layer was been highlighted. I click here. I will find this object is under this layer. So if I open the layer of door, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten objects, ten knights. Um, you can select this object. Okay. Maybe this one. You see the manipulator is right here. Okay, if I choose the movement tool. Okay. And then um, they have some grouping, so I'm not going to move them. Uh, you see that uh, there's a different kinds of objects that uh, they separate, se uh, locate in different layer in the file. And I don't need this, so I want to delete it, this object. You can delete the object, or even you can delete your layer if you think it which is not necessary. Okay, select it and delete it. Select and delete it. Um, I want to talk about this icon. The eyes means a visibility. If you turn off the eyes, it will make all the elements or the uh, objects, the lights, uh, which stored in this layer turned into invisible. And also this layer means the activation. Uh, if you turn off, every time you have to, you, you, you can turn one layer on only. Uh, if I'm turning the default layer on, that means if you are going to create anything, all those objects will be stored in this layer. If I choose uh, maybe on geometry, Spheria, and then I open this layer, you will find the Spheria was stored in this layer. And also you can move the object between all those layers. For example, I choose uh, my Spheria, and then I go to the door layer right uh, to go to the door layer turn it on and then you see there's a lot of options you can choose uh, right here in this menu uh, create new layer uh, if you want to create an empty layer this time i want to add to active layer okay oh, undo it first okay uh, i have to turn on the door the layer activate the uh, doors layer and then select my sphere click this button Okay, I can move my sphere from the default layer to the doors layer, and then I'm going to remove it. So that you can manage your scene, if you have a, a lot of objects, uh, all those objects can be lines, spines, or video objects, camera, or even through lighting. Uh, okay, for our project, uh, you can use uh, all these lines or you can duplicate all of them and put them into a new layer called draft maybe I'm going to create a new layer and then I give it a name called draft okay. and then I select all of the content all of the layer, you see all of the layer the name of the layer was been selected and then you can click this button okay, add to Select all of the object, select the layer drop, turn it on, and then click this button to put them into it. You see, all the content was moved into the draft layer. How about door, furniture, fixture? There's nothing inside. You see, there's no triangle over here. You cannot turn it on, you cannot open it because there's nothing. I've put all the content into this layer. Um, actually, we do this layer um, at the end of our project. We, we just use it as a reference to create our 3D world. Okay, all these layers are not necessary now, so I'm going to delete them. Okay, for this layer, um, for save, uh, sometimes um, you may uh, accidentally move or uh, or delete some of the content uh, to protect them you can turn on this button to freeze them after you turn it on you find that you can't select the content anymore okay it freeze the whole layer or I turn it on again you can freeze some specific object okay now I turn it on uh, here are some bugs. Uh, sometimes when you turn on the freeze, uh, you find that the object, that the color of the lights won't change. Um, it, uh, for it still display as purple. But now, uh, I'm going to select the object first and then turn on freeze again. It will change to gray. Uh, actually, uh, both of them is okay. 
And then I'm going to use the snaps toggle to help me. Right click and then select vertex if you didn't. Um, if I choose uh, the snapshot, uh, the setting changed to vertex, I can use the snap toggle to help me um, snap my lines and vertex to the wall of my cat file but before that because um the all the lines was been freezed so you have to go to option option turn on snap to frozen object otherwise your computer will ignore all those freezed lines um so that you you can't snap it so you have to turn this button on and then i turn the snapping on you will see your computer will help you snap to the wall, snap to the furniture of your cat file so that you can create a video world that uh, with a reasonable scale.